Hey guys, today uh, we have Munchman for Texas Instruments TI-99-4A computer. Uh, an interesting name for a game where you don't munch anything. Instead of eating dots, you leave a chain behind. The reason for that is that this was originally a pretty much flat-out copy of Pac-Man. And at the last instant, uh, Texas Instruments uh, lawyers blinked and decided that they were leaving themselves a little too open for a lawsuit. So they changed the game from uh, uh, eating, you know, dots to leaving a uh, chain behind. And they changed the power pellets to Texas Instruments logo, which in a lot of ways makes it a more interesting game. But... Uh, while they were making those changes, they didn't change the title, which is why you get a munchman that doesn't munch anything. Uh, this is a fun game, but if you follow my gameplay, you'll notice that sometimes I'm not making the most sensible moves uh, here. And the reason is that it, once you uh, uh, get a power up and the game speeds way up, it's uh, real picky in the way it reads the joystick. So you, you have to be very precise with the joystick, and you have to have high-quality joysticks. Uh, when I first got this game, I tried to play it with the Texas Instruments uh, joysticks, and it was completely unplayable. I mean, it was luck if I got through the maze. And uh, so I've got me an adapter uh, from... Uh, Wyco, a Wyco adapter, uh, to uh, use Atari 2600 joysticks for it. And with that adapter, it's playable, uh, but still, I believe it would help if I got a bit better joysticks than my Atari 2600 joysticks, which for the most part work well. Uh, and for the most part, I enjoy playing this game, and I hope that you've enjoyed this walkthrough.